Croatia beats Argentina 3-0 and I don't know on one side I'm devastated for I don't want to say my Argentina but you know Argentina was the team that I really wanted to win this World Cup but I observed I started not caring after Caballero's mistake you cannot win a World Cup with such a clown as a goalkeeper. It is beyond me that this is, given Romero's uh, injury, that this is the best available goalkeeper for Argentina. I cannot believe that. Uh, it's just beyond me. Such a clown. It's also beyond me that you put the oldest squad in the entire tournament on. Mascherano has nothing to do with this squad. He is a ghost from a bygone era. He plays in China. He is not ready for the World Cup. Most of the players are not. Uh, you have a formidable strike force, but the strike force you needs to be able to get the ball, get into position and everything. And that's all missing for Argentina. You have a coach that four years ago I thought was an absolute genius. Uh, he revolutionized the game with Chile. He is now with Argentina and cannot get shit together. Um, I don't understand it. I'm not an insider of Argentinian soccer. But this is horrible. Uh, the first half, you have a clear chance of goal. The goal is wide open. You cannot make it. You already knew that there's pressure on the team, that they're not concentrated. It was devastating. Croatia played well, really well, and I'm actually quite happy for Croatia. I always said I want this, I want the Croatian team to finally do well, um, because they really can. I was more expecting the Euros, because they are, uh, I think this would suit them better. But this is a team that has stars with Rakitic, Modric, Mandzukic, Perisic, you call it. Um, they can be decent in defense, and I think on a good day they can beat anyone. Argentina, they didn't need a good day today, honestly. Argentina was abject in the second half. First half, there was maybe something, but uh, again, uh, Sampaioli said already how he's going to play the day before. Thank you. I'm sure Croatia said big thank you. Well, that was easy. And anyway, it's easy to play against Ar Ar Argentina. Just put three men on Messi. That's that. No further uh, tactics needed because the other players, okay, Messi has to do everything. And yeah, he was clearly frustrated today. Um, if I was him, I honestly would, yeah, you shouldn't leave as a captain sinking ship, but that's how it sh surely feels like. Get out, get out of there. Yes, you probably can't even <laughs> qualify, but Honestly, I don't want to. I'm at that point that, yeah, they're not, they're not disqualified. Uh, they didn't fail to qualify yet. They can win against Nigeria, which seems somehow doable. Uh, but honestly, if Iceland wins against Nigeria tomorrow, something that many people will say is impossible because it's little Iceland. Iceland is a darn good team. They landed ahead of Croatia in the qualifying, and they deserved so. This is not a lucky team by any stretch of the imagination. This is a team that's working hard. It's limited, but it's working hard. Fully deserves everything. And at this point, I'd rather see an Iceland team in the second round than an Argentina team. That's just a disgrace. Um, after they got the second, which was a beautiful strike by Modric, uh, they completely imploded and it had the air a little bit of the 7-1, the famous 7-1 of Brazil. Um, if, yeah, Croatia, look at the third goal, everyone gave up. They thought maybe it was offside or something. It was just purely giving up. Forget about it. Yeah. So, and I actually thought an Argentina player will see a straight red card as well. 
it's so far another South American World Cup. I only read how well European teams and some South American teams are doing. Um, the only South American team that is doing anything at the moment is frankly Uruguay and they're not doing anything crazy. Yes, Brazil will play tomorrow. Yes, Brazil will probably put some display on. But Peru did play well, but sorry. Colombia, yeah, should shot themselves in the foot. Maybe they can get something together. Will be uphill climb. Doesn't look good. I think the only confederations that look good so far is Europe, 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 and surprisingly Asia. I think Australia did well. Japan did well. South Korea, nah. Iran did actually. I gotta give credit to Iran. Um, yeah. So that's my thoughts on today. Um, Jersey matchup was okay from the choice. I was happy to see the Argentina. Argentina is in their nice stripes. Um, white pants made sense. I would have liked to see black pants maybe get in the next game against Nigeria. The only thing to look forward to in this game, honestly, uh, that I absolutely hate those Croatian away jerseys. Just go to my blog and you will read about that. I find them ugly as hell. That's the worst uniform at this, at this World Cup, in my opinion. And I like black and I like navy blue. It's just crazy how bad those look. Well, let me know what you thought. I don't think anyone thinks much about Argentina at this moment. Um, I had one last thought about kind of comparison of Messi and Ronaldo. I think many people will say Ronaldo is still on the high, or he has now the late surge and Messi is going down, and that might be true. But compares World Cups four years ago, Ronaldo exited in disgrace. He still lost for nothing to uh, the eventual world champions, but I. Uh, he was not featuring uh, this year. Messi probably uh, exited in disgrace. And then, if I compare the remaining tournaments, Messi has a final, Ronaldo has a semi final, Messi has a quarter final, two quarter finals if you want, and Ronaldo has one second round. So, we'll see what Portugal will do. I think Portugal will get at least a quarter final this year as well. So. Or again, pretty even, and none will have made a huge mark on the World Cup in the end. Because no, I think Portugal could win it. I don't think they will win it. So in the end, none of them will ever have won the World Cup. And then it's again down to comparing how they play. Uh, I don't want to get into that discussion now. Too tired for that. Well, that was it for me for this evening. Um, Wish you all the best and I will talk to you soon. Enjoyed this video? Please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.